in the follow-up video to the fractional distillation of crude oil, we're going to look at some of the properties of the various different fractions. In particular, the main one being the burning. And secondly, then we will look at the idea of colour and viscosity and look for any patterns between the fractions. So I have five fractions, petroleum, paraffin, diesel, lubricating oil, and finally, bitumen. Now, the number one thing you can see is that in the colour, as we go from petrol through to bitumen, the colour gets darker. Also, let's look at the idea of the viscosity as we do each one. Now, this is petrol, as you can see, it's very, very runny. So, very low viscosity, and the particular reason is because the short chain molecules <coughs> means that they do not get entangled, so it's a very runny liquid. Now, there's a small amount of petrol on the mineral wool. I'm going to ignite that now and let's look at the flame and how it burns. So as we can see, it's a relatively non-smoky flame. And it's quite yellow. So that's petrol as it burns. Now here is paraffin. You can see this is much thicker. It's not as runny. It's more viscous because the molecules are longer. So there's greater chance of them entangling with each other. Now let's look and see how this burns. It's harder to light because it's got a because the molecules are larger, so its ignition temperature is greater. As you can see, there's a much more smokier flame because the percentage of carbon is higher. So that amount of smoke is not the greatest of fuels. The next up is diesel. You can see it's a really much darker colour, slightly thicker than paraffin because the molecules are slightly larger. Now let's have a look and see how that burns. As you can see again, it's harder to light because these molecules are harder are larger and longer, so there's a much greater ignition temperature. As you can see already, the flame is much more orange. There's a lot of smoke being produced. I'll just move this so you can see how much. So, certainly not a fuel we would tend to use for burning it in the, in the homes. Next up is lubricating or ship oil, a very thick oil, as you can see, darker again, and again because, and all this is again because the molecules are longer, so there's a greater chance of them getting entangled with each other. Now let's have a look, see how it burns. See, it's even harder to light because it has a higher ignition temperature. And now that we're getting burning, we can see that the flame is more orange than diesel. It's producing a lot of smoke, certainly not a fuel that we would want to use in the home for heating or anything. Now 
And lastly, we've got is bitumen, this thick, dark black liquid. I'm going to pour it so you can see how thick it is. It's so thick that we may be here forever trying to get it out. In the end, I had to cheat and spoon it out, otherwise we'd be here off forever. Now let's try lighting it. As you can see, it's by far the hardest to light. It has the highest ignition temperature because the molecules are the largest. Now, as you can see, as it starts to burn, it's making increasingly more and more smoke, and the flame is getting much darker. It's the darkest of all the flames. So, the patterns as we go through them, we can see that one, the colour gets darker as we go from petrol through to bitumen. The viscosity or the runniness decreases as we go from petrol to bitumen. The ignition temperature increases, the amount of smoke increases and the flame gets darker. So we'll look to further explain that as in the, after the video.